Hello family. Today we're going to make pecan toffee bars. So come join me. Should we make some bars? I know you're on a diet, right? That's sad. But maybe one crumb. Okay, now I know we've all had these kind of nights where it's late, should be sleeping, but your body wants dessert and you don't have it. That's what I'm going through. It was one of those weeks at work, so I'm going to have a dessert. I did really good this week. I ate oranges and apples. I want dessert. This is really easy. I have my oven on 350. I'm going to add one package of yellow cake mix. Well, this is golden butter, but it'll still work. Yellow cake mix. And to that, I'm going to add one third cup of softened butter. Okay, we've got the mix in there. I'm going to add one third cup of softened butter. Well, it's kind of cold in my house, so it's not too soft. And one egg yolk. Now we're just going to mix this up. Probably going to just use my fingers. It's easier that way. Mix it all up until, and it's going to be crumbly. It's supposed to be that way. It actually snowed today. I was so shocked. But what was really weird was it was snowing big flakes, but it was sunshiny out. And the sun was shining and it was big flakes and they were melting as soon as, I mean, as soon as they hit the ground, they were melting. So, but it was just weird. Weird to see it snowing like that. Okay. I've never made this before. I'm just going by the recipe here, trying it. And it says to press the mixture evenly into the prepared pan. And it's supposed to be crumbly, so. And that it is. It's crumbly. We will see what happens. Press it in like this. Okay, now the second part is, let's put that aside. I'm just going to use this pan, this bowl. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to take one can of sweetened condensed milk. All right, now we're going to, this is going to be fun. We're going to mix one can of sweetened condensed milk. It should be easy. That's why I like desserts to easy. It has to has to cool this when the when they're out of the oven. It has to cool, and then it's supposed to cool in the fridge. So, but I'll be up to wait for it. Okay, now I'm adding one whole egg to that. Okay, we're going to add one whole egg. Mix that in really good. Okay. 
and um, one teaspoon of vanilla. And this is about a teaspoon, so. Okay, we're gonna mix that. Okay, now I'm reading the instructions at the same time here. I don't mean to ignore you. And I am really excited because in a couple days, my foster mom and my foster sister are coming from Tennessee and I get to, I get to see them. I'm going to go out to lunch with them as soon as they get here. That'll be, um, I am so excited. I haven't seen them in a long time, months. I think it was last fall. Now I'm going to stir in one cup of chopped pecans. Yeah, I'm really excited to see them. I just, oh, it's, you know, my sister and I were just, well, both of us work a lot. So we really don't do much of talking on the phone. We, we text back and forth, but she works crazy hours. I work crazy hours. She works a lot of overtime, and I, I don't usually work overtime, but, um, By the time I'm done with work, I'm so mentally exhausted. It's like, ugh. Now I'm going to add I'm going to add one half cup of it, toffee bits um, or bits of brickle baking chips. I'm going to, all I have is the heat bar, so and that's about a half. I'm going to add that. Okay. Now what we do is we pour that. We pour this over the, the, the crust that we made. Spread it out. This ought to help. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to give it some gravity. You know, gravity works. I want to make sure that... And you want to keep your parchment paper like this so that after you br take it out of the refrigerator... You know, after it's baked and then you put it in the refrigerator, then um, you can just pull it right out. Okay, I think that I think I followed the directions correctly. Bake 25 to 30 minutes, so we're going to do that. Okay, I had this in the fridge probably longer than I should have been in there. And um, my microphone stopped working, so I had to order a new one. So you'll have to bear with me. Speaking of bears, sp speaking of bears. Last night, around 11 o'clock, 
I was out, I went out to my porch to let my dog outside. And when I went to the window and I was getting ready to open the door, I saw a black bear walking past the porch door window. And I didn't let my dog out, but he, um, he turned around and he looked at me and I said to the window, I just said, I just yelled, get out of here. And he just stared at me for a while and then he, he um, just sauntered down the driveway and left. But I was telling my husband about that. Well, he went out and looked and it was gone so then we could let our dog out. But, um, Today we were talking about, um, you know, research we've done on black bears and how they, um, if you make a lot of noise, um, they're usually afraid and they'll leave. And um, they don't like the barking of a dog, but if a dog chases them, which she would, then they will defend themselves. So pray for safety for my baby girl. Um, but anyway, so he, you know, and he started talking about how you can't run from a bear. You face them and you make a lot of noise and you just stand your ground and, you know, yell at them or whatever you have to do. And, and the way he was saying it, I said, it sounds like you're preaching. And that's what we're supposed to do with the devil. We're not supposed to run from him. We're supposed to stand our ground and face him and, you know, tell him that he's been defeated. And he said, yes. He said, he's already been defeated. He said, and then he said something to me that really made sense to me. He said, you don't run from a, you don't have to run from a bully that's already done, um, that's already been put down on the playground. You know, and it, you know, and he said, or, or the, the bully that's already in, taken to the principal's office. You don't have to run from him. And it's like, okay, yeah. You don't have to run from a bully that's already down on the playground. That made so much sense to me because back in my day, you know, there was a lot of bullies back in the playground. So yeah, I just wanted to, I wanted to tell you that. So anyway, back to cutting up the bars here. All right, hopefully they're not gonna be too hard to cut. Oh, they're nice, nice to cut. I, I set them, you know, I let them set out for a little bit here. But yeah, these are nice. We just got back from town. We had to go get gas and pick, did pick up groceries at Walmart so we didn't have to wander around that busy store. To, um, these are going to be a little bigger, but all right, and we're going to turn this and see what we can do here. About they sure smell good. Yeah, I ended up, um, I put them in the fridge last night because I, I was hungry for something. And um, I couldn't wait for them, so I had, I had a graham cracker, and that satisfied me. So I thought, okay, I'll just leave them in the fridge until tomorrow and finish up the video tomorrow. So yeah, made with cake mix. They do kind of make a caramel. We'll have to see. Let's try them. Thanks for joining me today for uh, pecan, pecan and toffee bars. 
Let's try them. Oh, here. First bite for you. Yeah, there you go. Yum. Let's try it. Mmm. I'm really surprised that that crust turned out like that. Since it was a cake mix. It's really delicious. It does have a caramel. Caramel flavoring to it. Mmm. Good dessert bars. So again, thanks for coming today. And thank you so much for all my family members and subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Um, I know I haven't looked at my analytics lately, so, but I know I was close to 2,000, so I may be, I may be at 2,000 now. I don't know. I'll, I don't check that very often. So, I just want to thank you, and I do pray for you every day. Remember that. And um, any specific prayers, you can email me because I love to pray for people. So we'll see you next time for something different. And remember, stay busy and serve others. Bye for now.